Lady friends, thank you for joining us today. We are doing a collab with our Geeks and Beauties group, and this is a TV tag. If you want to do this along with us, I will put all of the questions down below, and also make sure you check out everyone down below who is participating in this tag. Um, but before we start, make sure you don't miss any of our interactive opportunities. Yeah. Uh, like our video. It's really amazing. You want to subscribe so you don't miss anything and our social media is right here down below. If you want to join Geeks and Beauties, make sure you check out the link down below as well. Uh, we do a lot of collabs and giveaways and a lot of things together to support each other, uh, but it is an online creator, entrepreneur, influencer community. So you have to have some kind of social media platform or a shop or something online in order to join Mm -hmm. our group. You gotta be creative. You gotta be online. You gotta be creative online. Um, so this TV tag that we are doing um, is interesting for me because I feel like I, I feel like I had to really reach to get some of these answers. Um, also before we start I know I'm, I'm really all over the place morning, this morning and I... We've had so... some really bad allergies going on right now so it's kind of like all up in our head. So apologize. But what I'm doing while we are doing this is I am doing a makeup look with a palette. Um, it's not TV related per se um, but it is the Pretties for Your Face palette through Dangers Untold which is a labyrinth themed palette. I would show you my shirt. Let's see if I can actually get up. Bam. That shirt reminds me of the babe. Uh, we haven't done a swatch out for this because we've already kind of talked about the background of this company. Um, but I will show you what it looks like really quick before we start. Here's the inside of it. This is the underground Obliette Goblin King. Hello and Magic Dance. So I'll be using that in my look as we go. I'm also using this, which which I bought from her. This is called Lustrous Dust. It is a highlight, and I have the shade Luster Lover, and I'll be using that as a highlight. So we're gonna actually do that first. This is going on my cheeks, and this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil I'm going to be using on my lids um, to start off with. Uh, yeah, so Marsha will be doing the questions mm -hmm. as we go and answer this and again if you guys end up doing this tag with us make sure you link your video down below so that we can check it out oh yeah we want to hear about that mm -hmm. so starting off what was your favorite pilot my favorite uh, well okay so it says the best tv pilot mm -hmm. um so, okay so i'm going to preference m preface most of my answers by saying i actually had to go through the list of my current favorite TV shows and or best all-time favorite TV shows in order to answer this because I was just not having a good time trying to remember things this morning. Um, but the best TV pilot, in my opinion, the one that just draws you in and makes you want to watch, to me, is West Wing. Mine is very close. It's Designated Survivor. I, I felt like that just had a lot more punch to it, yeah. even though the West Wing has a lot more charm to it. Yeah. It, it's definitely got more charm, more wit, but the other one has more punch, and I feel like I like that one better. I could definitely see that. Okay. How about the worst TV pilot? Oh, powerless. Okay, this is why I say this. Um, and it, it, because it was from this year, I had the reason why I had to say that is because they changed their concept. So when I first saw the upfronts, they had one concept for the pilot, and I thought, this is a really interesting idea. Mm -hmm. And then I went and saw the pilot, and I was like... This doesn't even look anything like what I thought it was going to be. So I, I think it was just, it was a bad... I, I know there are worst ones. I'm not exactly sure it's the worst one I've ever seen, but it's the worst one I can think of right now. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, I do reviews on a, on Bubble Blabber, doing anime reviews, um, and I've happened upon a really bad one. Uh, it's called Clockwork Planet, and the first episode, the pilot of it, is terribly animated, terribly written, and is a whole bunch of out of character actions by people as they the writers are just trying to find excuses for fan service which is for those of you who don't know ways of putting girls into situations so that you can see their boobs and their butts yeah and it's got no plot a very little plot in character development so just a bad show all around all around, I guess, yeah. Best series finale. Oh, I have to say it's The Office. For me, I mean, The Office is probably one of my favorite shows um, of all time. 
I have watched it many, many times. It's not my most favorite show of all time. Those are the other two. We'll talk about that later. Mm. Um, but The Office is probably one of my favorites. And um, I just thought the end really came together and like wrapped everything else up nicely. You didn't really wonder where people were going. They talked about things from like all the seasons. Like I just thought it was a great, great finale. I'm going to be reaching a little further back in time with the finale for The Next Generation, All Good Things, because, again, that also did the same thing. It kind of reached throughout the entire series, and it looked to the far-flung future, and it it had some interesting plot line to it that you're like, I have no idea what's going on here right now. Yeah. So it, it was it was a good episode, I think. The only one that was better is, all good, is the um, Best of Both Worlds. Mm, yeah. All right, before we go on to the next question, I did want to point out a few things. Um, first off is I am slowly expanding my compass collection, compass, <laughs> slowly expanding my compact collection. Um, my husband actually found this one for me on eBay, which is the Little Mermaid, um, one that's very similar to the Frozen one I got from Sephora. Um, and then I also have a Beauty and the Beast one that I got from the Disney store. So this is a Little Mermaid, she's in the boat. I'm really excited that I found this um, on eBay for about the same price you would have found it at Sephora, uh, but it is, I'm starting this whole like compact collection um, of like Disney and interesting geeky things, so you know, if you guys see them, let me know. Link them down below. I want quality ones, not like cheap ones, because it is going to be like a collection I'm going to display, so let me know if you, if you see this. All right, next, let's start in the palette. Yeah. Uh, for this look, I'm going to use the shade Ello all over my lid, and then I'm going to start into the crease with uh, probably this color, which is Oubliette, and then this color underground on top of it, and then I'm going to use Magic Dance on the lid, and then Goblin King is going to be in my lower lash line. Uh, I'm just going to kind of hurry that along so we can answer questions very quickly. Okay. Worst series finale? Oh... Bunheads. I don't know if any of you watch Bunheads. I loved Bunheads. Um, however, I I know that they had to rush to get that series finale done, and it has no bearing whatsoever on Amy Sherman Palladino's talent. Mm -hmm. um, it really doesn't. But I just didn't like the way it ended. I thought it was it was not wrapped up at all, and it's not their fault, but like I said, but worst, mm -hmm. yes. Um, Stargate Universe. Uh, this was actually a rather bad show for me. Um, it was the idea of doing Battlestar Galactica in Stargate, and the new Battlestar Galactica, um, and it just kind of flopped. The series finale just basically went, yeah, they're going to keep on going. No ending. Yeah. Um, favorite actress? My favorite actress uh, on TV, mm -hmm. which she's not on TV right this minute, and it kind of makes me sad about it, and that is Hayley Atwell. She's probably, mm -hmm. every time I watch something, and of course I saw her on Agent Carter and then just was like, yep, she's cool. Um, every time I watch something with her in it, I love it. I loved Conviction, and then of course they decided to cancel it. Uh, so yeah, she is probably my favorite right now. I will watch whatever she does. Allison Brie. Um, oh, she, really? Yeah. She, she's just like like um, they said on Gong Show, she can sweeten your tea by sticking her finger in it. She can, but she's also, and you've probably never seen any of her stand-up or anything like that, but she's kind of crass, actually. I and, kind of figured from, you know, her performance in Glow, uh -huh. you know, she can do crass, and I'm pretty certain that that's, that that's the funny part of her, is that she can be really crass and then be totally sweet about it. <laughs> I'll see that. Favorite TV actor? My favorite TV actor is um, probably Chris Pratt, which he's also a movie actor, mm -hmm, but he mm -hmm. started, you know, doing TV. I, just, I think he's great. Okay. I had thought of him primarily as a movie actor, even though I do remember he was in Parks and Rec. Yeah. So I, I didn't think of him for this. Uh, otherwise, that, that would have been my answer, but uh, I have Dulé Hill. Oh, yes, because we just mm -hmm. finished Psych. And he's in West Wing, and he's, and he's great in both of them. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. um, I do have to make a note. Trying to put these shadows on top of the NYX milk pencil, jumbo eye pencil, is kind of 
it's, it's hard. It's kind of like tugging at my eyes. Um, I know it'll probably make it like pop a lot more, but it really is kind of hard to blend it over it. I have to like kind of place it on. Just a side note, if you ever decide to get this palette. And so you can't really like drag it across to blend it. You have to like dapple it. To yeah. Make it get on. Yeah. Dapple? You mean like stipple? Stipple dapple. Yes. Okay. It's the apple stipple. Yes. Whatever. Exactly. Most disappointing cancellation. <sighs> Firefly. It will always be Firefly. Firefly. Fox. You done messed up. Done messed up hardcore. Best opening. Well, I actually have two because of the same reason. Um, I would say for like an older show that's not on right now, it'll be Lost because the the titles are just and then they're gone. Mm -hmm. um, Once Upon a Time is also like that. However, that changes every time, and that's why I think it's it's cool. That's why I like it because every time you're kind of watching for the beginning sequence, and you're like, "What's going to happen now?" Yeah, because it was always a, a hint as to what the episode was going to be about. Exactly. Um, some of them you're like, wait, what, what even is that? Exactly. Um, m initially I had said Lost as well, but then I remembered, I, like, just how much I enjoyed the earworm of Psych and the fact that several times throughout each season they would have a specialty episode with a different opening credit mm -hmm. sequence yeah. entirely. Like, they did it in Spanish, they've done it for a Christmas episode, they've done the, um, a horror-based one. It, they were all different. And so you can go by, and actually there's, um... A special feature in one of the DVDs where you can see a mashup of all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Favorite female character? Oh, it's hands down Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec. She she has to say that. I do have to say that because I'm there's so many similarities between me and her. It is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Felicity Smoke from Arrow. Well, I haven't seen Arrow yet, so I don't, don't know. Don't just don't. But you like her? She's the only good part of that show. Okay. Um, absolutely nerdy girl and very sweet. And you can see a pattern here. I like sweet girls. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, favorite male character. Ooh, and I might get some hate from this, but then I think I won't. Um, my favorite ma male character, who is, he's also evil, is Negan. I think he is the most complex, charismatic character. I would watch episode after episode just of Negan. He is probably from the Dead. best villain I have ever seen. He is amazing. And you know, it's it's not just Negan himself, it's also that Jeffrey Dean Morgan is playing him. And you know, I watched him in a couple other things recently, like Grey's Anatomy, and I'm just like, this guy, he made, yeah, he made this, this yeah. role, made it. Mm -hmm. Although in the comics, he was also a really popular villain. Mm-hmm, it's true. A f least favorite character. Wait, did you do it? Oh, yeah, my mail. Um, Barry Allen from uh, Flash, because he's just such an upbeat guy. Like, um, oh, that's, okay. Yeah, that's my favorite male character. Okay. He, he's just so upbeat, and without... Uh, if, I, if you watch through a whole bunch of Arrow, and then you watch through Flash, it's like finally breathing again, uh, because of yeah. how happy he is. I can believe it, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so now, least favorite character. Oh, hands down, Coach from New Girl. Every time he's on this show, it brings the show down. And, you know, I have nothing against the actor who plays him, but honestly, he's the dynamic of the characters in the loft on New Girl is so much better when Coach is not there. So much better. Viserys Targaryen, the brother of um, Khaleesi. Oh, on a, oh, okay. Oh. Pretty much every time he was on the screen, I wanted to slap him so hard, he spun around and laid on the ground for about an hour. There's a couple characters that I'm like that on um, mm -hmm. Game of Thrones. Now, granted, guys, we're only in season three mm -hmm. now, um, so we're not, like, all the way through. I hear there is a really crazy, evil character that's coming up soon. Um, yeah. By the way, I'm going to, um, for the lid shade, this glitter, I'm actually going to set it with some Elf Magic Mist and Set uh, because it needs a little bit more oomph on there. It is pretty glittery. Um, so if you need it to stick, make sure you use a setting spray so that it foils very nicely on there. I can already tell that's such a good difference. Yeah, it is actually. Okay. Continue. Your crush. Oh gosh. From the office. And actually it's funny because we just saw him on a show last night is Ed, Hel Ed Helms. Um, I always loved Andy from The Office because uh, he's such a dork. 
But I love him. Mm -hmm. So cute. And like we said, Allison Brie was on there too, but she's not my she's not my TV crush. It is Felicity Smoke. Um from Arrow, not the actress, but the character. Uh-huh. No, I, I thought that this was the character that you would be. So. Okay. Um, favorite childhood show? I really had to think about this because I couldn't really remember, but I think my favorite childhood TV show is probably the Mickey Mouse Club, the new <laughs> one. Because I, I literally came home and watched it every day, 3 o'clock. I, I was there. For me, it's Star Trek The Next Generation. I have so many fond memories of sitting in front of the television, watching that show at dinner time, and then once I was done eating dinner, playing with blocks and marbles. Uh, yep, I remember the blocks and marbles. They're like, it's like a... <sighs> it's like a series of wooden pipes that are half pipes, and you assemble them together, and you drop a marble and see what kind of crazy machine comes out of what it. What is that thing for like a... The Rube, Rube Goldberg. Rube Goldberg. It's machine. very like crude Rube Goldberg kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it is. If you don't know what that is, I don't. Yeah, anyway. Favorite teenage show? My favorite teenage show is probably Perfect Strangers. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, or Friends. Uh, actually, I'm going to change it to Friends because Friends was on when I was in high school. Yeah. That tells you how old I am. Um, I don't know, y'all know I'm 40, whatever. Um, but yeah, probably Friends, because it was on when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Before I put this stuff on my lower lash, I am going to kind of blend out a little bit more and add a little more of this, this color right here to blend out the top, because you can see it's a tiny bit muddy. Um, I just need to kind of firm it up a little bit, I think. Uh, my favorite teenage show was Stargate SG-1, because um, that show, we, we came to Orlando and mom and I just were sitting around because we had nothing to do and we watched television and we found Stargate SG-1 there and we we're like, wait, there was a television show? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we all, we're, cause we loved the movie. Um, fastest binge watch. Oh, it was How I Met Your Mother. We actually didn't even start watching it until it was pretty far in. And so my husband and I decided we were just going to start and we binge watched it in a Christmas. It was wow. kind of Christmas. Uh, it was crazy. It wasn't all of it, but it was most of it. And I would say it probably took us a week because that's all we did was just sit there and binge watch it. For me, it's Castlevania, which came out very recently on Netflix. Um, I'm going to have to say that I slightly cheat on this. It is a half an hour show and there's only four episodes. Yeah, you did cheat. Favorite show of all time? I have two. Um, I decided I, I can't I can't pick just one. So I've already mentioned one of them. Of course, it's the, I would say the 20 minute comedy is Parks and Rec. It is my favorite show of all time. Mm -hmm. I love it. My favorite, like, 40 minute show of all time is Doctor Who. Firefly for me. Show I regret watching. Scream Queens. I, I know it's fairly recent and I did watch two, two series. And at first I thought it was really good. But looking back on it, it was not good. For me, it was Clockwork Planet. That show that I said had the worst t TV pilot. Yeah, I'm still regretting watching it. And I have like two episodes left and I have to watch. <laughs> uh, next step, I'm going to use the Kat Von D liner. It's in black. I'm going to, oh, and then I'm going to use this new liner I got from ColourPop, which is Overboard. Uh, ColourPop just tends to be like exclusively what I use in my waterline on my under waterline because they stay in place all day and they don't like water out when yeah and then i'm going to use this wet n wild mega length mascara on the bottom on the top i've already used better than sex mascara because i am currently testing mascaras which we'll, you will see later oh and then i might as well just tell you what i'm using on my lip because we're almost done then i just picked this up yesterday this is the by beauty amuse beauty liquefied lipstick um, and I saw it, and all I'm going to tell you, it is more expensive than any other liquid lipstick I probably have ever purchased, but I got it because I had, re I was returning something and I had the credit, so I was like, I, I really want to try this, like, and this is be the, the only time I do it. So I got the shade Chutney, and it looks like this, so you'll see what it looks like. This is my first time wearing it. Favorite animated show? I don't really watch animated show, and I was trying to figure... If I had watched animated shows like previously and what they would be, and if I had to pick one, I would say I just like watching Disney cartoons. 
on TV. Sometimes they're fun, but I don't really have a favorite animated show that I can remember. First you grab the trash, put it in the bag, bump, bump. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Comment below if you know what that's from. For me, it's going to be Log Horizon, uh, which is a show she probably has never even heard of. Never. Um, nope. It's, it's an anime that I was introduced to a while back. I just really identify with the main character and the way that he thinks. So, uh, like, Vince refused to watch the show with me because I was ruining the episodes as I was watching them for the first time by predicting everything the main character would do. Oh, yeah! Who's Vince? Uh, Vince used to be one of the co-stars here, one of the side geeks, um, but he has not lived with us for a while yet now. For about a year, yeah. yeah. And uh, even before that, he, he was not that active. Uh, when we first started up, he was Lord Sniffington, who did all of the sniffing. That is right. He, he smelled all these candles and these wax melts and stuff like that. Um, now that's falling on me, but I'm not a lord of anything. That's because he works from home, so he has time. Favorite, Favorite guilty... guilty pleasure show. How did this not end up on my list? I don't know. It's right there. Yeah, all right, strange. I'll answer first. So favorite guilty pleasure show for me is Gilmore Girls. I love this show. We'll watch it over and over again as well. I've only watched it through once, but I'm starting again. My Little Pony. Yeah, that is yours. Mm-hmm. At least that was I, an easy I, one for you to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why I missed it. Um, oh, you know, the real reason is the one that's after the next one, so. Oh, okay. Favorite miniseries? Favorite miniseries, Dr. Horrible. Oh, I'm changing my answer. Yes, it's Dr. Horrible. Mm-hmm. I was originally saying Into the West, but that's just the one that's in most recent memory. Yeah, Dr. No, it's, Horrible. It's Dr. Horrible. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, most embarrassing watch? I watch Dance Moms, guys. I don't watch it right now, but I used to. Mm. Um... I, I say that this is most embarrassing because it's most embarrassing while I'm watching it, not that I'm embarrassed that I watched it. Um, more of I'm embarrassed for the people that are on it um, a lot of times because I'm just like, you made that choice? Um, that is RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, uh. There's a lot of makeup and outfit choices that they make on that show that I'm just like, no, no, <laughs> just no. Uh, but let's be real, Marshall hasn't even really been to a real drag show, so he's not familiar with what they actually do wear on there, so... Yeah, but it's more of, um, I'm looking at it and going, that is not flattering at all to you. Mm. And it's, if you're going for an artistic look, I could understand some of them, but some of them, that artistic look is presenting you in such a terrible light. Why did you do that? Yeah. Um, there's only one more question. Yeah character whose wardrobe I'd steal. <laughs> I have to laugh on this one. This is obviously not for everyday wear, people, mm -hmm. but I would steal Regina's from Once Upon a Time because her, her costumes are fabulously designed. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'd feel about the you know big collars, but fabulously designed. Yeah, Regina, I would... In both, both in the Enchanted Forest and in the modern day, she has the most amazing outfits. She really does. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I'm I'm gonna say Doctor Who because his wardrobe is infinite. That wardrobe inside the TARDIS has everything. Go from a logical standpoint. That's so <laughs> strange. But also, I do really like the outfit for the tenth Doctor and the twelfth Doctor. Mm. I actually, I they might be a little bit more than I would normally wear, but both of them were in, were things I'd like to wear. Mm -hmm. um, just a quick review about this. It is kind of thick. If you do not like thick uh, lips, this might not be for you. It has a basic, like, plasticky smell. Mm -hmm. um, I will have to tell you how I like, if I like how it wears throughout the day, but honestly, I'm not 100% sold on this. Um, my, my favorite liquid lipsticks to date are ColourPop Pretty much anything ColourPop does, liquid lipsticks. I just tried their blotted lips. They're very good. And the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. I wear those all the time when I want just a really nice nude lip. Um, but again, this may grow on me. So we'll, we'll see. I'll keep is you it, posted. Is it a little bit tacky? Um, it isn't tacky. It's just not drying. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yes, yeah, so that is a TV tag. Uh, sorry we went a little bit long, but uh, 
yeah, that's what happens. So um, again, if you want to pick anything up by Pretties for Your Face, she's got a bunch of themed palettes. She's got more coming out. I will put the link down below for that for you. But thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.